day anymore. Yeah, times are changing. Mm -hmm. Steve Miller is the CEO and president of GetDismissed.com, and he's joining us this morning to try to show us some of the, the facts and fiction when it comes to changing traffic laws. Like, for example, we can no longer touch our cell phones yeah. as of January 1st, 2017. Absolutely. Good morning. Good yeah, morning. You. Yeah, you know, think about when cell phone laws came out about 10 years ago, and if you take a look at your phone, just about every feature on your phone wasn't available back then. So those sure. laws are pretty archaic. So it's time that they rewrote a lot of the laws. Now, just as ambiguous as it was back then, it still is ambiguous because the... Perfect. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've made progress. You know, so we're yeah, all confused. Yeah, just as long as you're not distracted while you drive. There you go. So they changed the law to say that you cannot either hold or use a um, wireless mobile phone or a wireless communication de device as they define it. Okay. Now, what's a communication device? It, it could be anything that I guess... A walkie-talkie. A walkie-talkie. You can't hold it at all. So if okay. you're driving, and a lot of people drive with just holding it. You, you can't do that anymore, no. even if you're not using it. So what do you have to do with it now? It has to be mounted either to your uh, front windshield, either in the corner of the mm -hmm. car, it can't obstruct the view, or it could be mounted to the dash. And uh, uh, either you can get those little clips that go straight into the air vents. Sure. Or there's magnetic ones that actually, um, like, mount and suction to the dashboard. That's you a great option. You can use any of those. And uh, it, the law states that you can use that phone either um, uh, by voice, you know, uh, without touching it at all, mm -hmm. or you can use a swipe or a tap. Now, this is where it gets tricky, right. really, because what's a swipe or a tap? How many right. times can you swipe or tap? So if you think about the old law, you could actually, the old law stated that you can use your phone while driving as long as you weren't communicating with another person by voice or text. Right. That meant that you could take pictures, you could change your music, you can uh, scroll Facebook, you can go onto different apps, and technically... Be very distracted. Yeah, that's not Very distracted, distracted technically not illegal. But now it is. But now they changed it so you could only use that with a swipe or a tap. Now, they put the word in one swipe or one tap, but to turn on your phone just to see the screen, that's one tap. Exactly. Yeah. So what happens after that? I don't think the law was authored properly personally because to actually um, operate your phone, you're going to have to hit it again. Sure. So yeah. I think it's a little ambiguous uh, uh, how they uh, authored that law. So they're just trying to keep us confused. A little bit. It is a little confusing, but the main thing is do not have it in your hand. There you go. Mount it. Don't be holding mount it. it on the windshield, mount it on the dashboard. And um, most people have Bluetooth, so you're going to talk into it anyway. You, sure. you shouldn't be texting. You shouldn't be, you know, taking pictures and Snapchatting and Facebooking and Twittering. Yeah. And no, don't tweeting. do that. I mean, what you know, not? Yeah, what not to do. And don't put your lipstick on while you're doing that either. Yeah, Ken. <laughs> no How am I going to get ready, Steve? Yeah. How am I going to get ready? Okay, so that's a primer on the new laws. Yes. Coming up next hour, we're going to take a little quiz. Yes. A little test? All right. Sure. Hang out with it. us for a while? You got it. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate it. We'll talk more coming up next. You're 847 welcome. here on this Tuesday morning. So we'll have to check and see if Steve brought his dancing shoes. Because 